Zeba from My Little Journal, and today I'm really excited to be sharing a flip through of my finished October daily for 2021. I am so happy that I used the mini storyline chapters. It was so much fun to work in, totally different than what I'm used to, but I really enjoyed it. And as you can see, they are very chunky and big. And I thought I was going to be able to add my thankful 30 in this album, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. <laughs> Uh, I might be able to add one album. I'm going to try, and if not, I'm going to end up buying another album for my Thankful 30. But anyways, let's get to it. I'm going to pull these out of the rods and flip through them. Okay, guys, I just wanted to say before I start, if you are new here and you have not watched my October daily process videos, I'm going to link the playlist up above for you or down below. So if you haven't taken a look at my process videos, I recommend you do because I share the majority of these layouts on YouTube. But anyways, let's start. I just trimmed out a little window for my cover. I also covered my cover with some patterned paper. And we're going to start with our title page. Just added some embellishments and spelt out October. Had a little fun with that. And day one, it was to document a tradition. So I have been mixing and matching my prompt list. I started with Serena B's prompt list, but then I found different prompt lists on Pinterest that really kind of sparked joy and sparked ideas for me. So I used a mishmash of prompt lists and I recommend this a lot, like you don't have to stick to one, you know, use what works for you. So basically day one was tradition and I documented us going to the fair. We do this every year and I love documenting it. I did use the October Moments kit from Feature Craft for the spread. I also have been asked about my photos. I have been printing the five by sevens for this mini notebook with my picture mate printer but anything smaller, I used my selfie printer. Day two was spooky movies. So I documented movies that we wanted to watch throughout the month. I'm not gonna speak in details about like all these spreads again, because I do have process videos for them, but I just stamped out TV sets, back the photos with them and added some journaling. I did want to add interactive elements throughout my notebook. So I trimmed down papers. I used vellum, I used acetate, so you're going to see a lot of that. And this is like an example of that. I trimmed down this page just to add that interactive element and backed it up with some journaling for day three. And I'm just documenting my daughter and I. Every year we go to Target and we try out all the Halloween costumes. And this one was by far my favorite. Day four was Happy Mail. So I documented this happy mail that I got from a dear, a dear friend of mine and I created a little tag and I cut a slit in my photo so I can slide the tag in there and I added my journaling to back it up and then I can just slide it back in there. I decided to do that because I wanted to scrap lift this idea from Elise from Feature Your Craft. She had stamped out like fall words and I thought this would be fun to stamp out like Halloween words and kind of have that space for some color and titles and things like that. So I decided to add my journaling to the opposite page and that way I have space for this beautiful layout here. Day five, I think was something orange. So I documented this adorable pumpkin that I purchased from Target. And day six was so much fun. I used an acetate because I had this large sticker from close to my heart and I really, really wanted to use it for this photo of my adorable dog, but I didn't want to stick it directly on my photo and take away from the photo. So I decided to use acetate for that. That way I can stick down that large sticker and still have that photo, you know, and not take away from that photo. So that was day six. Day seven, I shared these spreads with my members only. So they had a separate video and I created this little flip up, which was a lot of fun. As you can see, I added my journaling to back up that ghost. I trimmed out my photo to fit behind the ghost and just added some embellishing to it. It was so much fun to create and kind of made a little hinge for it to flip up. 
I also documented 1111. This was one of the prompts where you're supposed to document what's happening at 11 11 p.m so i just took screenshots like of 11 11 from my phone what i was reading at the moment the weather and the news as well and all i did was use a frame stamp set from feed your craft to stamp like a gallery wall and just added those photos in there it was very very simple and so much fun to do so for day nine, I did another like fold out, but this time around, I think it was like to document your favorite treats throughout fall or something like that. And all I did was I stamped out this Frankenstein with the mouth and trimmed out the mouth and backed up my photo with it. It was a Halloween sugar cookie and backed up the whole fold out with a large five by seven photo of my funnel cake from the fair because I love my funnel cake. I wait for it every fall because we get to have it at the fair. So I documented those photos, added some journaling, trimmed out this uh, title from a, I think it was a traveler's notebook paper from paper person. And just, I used that to add some color to my spread. And I love that green. They just worked really well together. Day 10 was to document your decor. I don't over decorate, I, that's just not who I am. And basically this is my decoration for fall. I do add a few pumpkins here and there, but that's about it. And I wanted to document that, but I also wanted to use my embellishments and my stash. So I created a little grid here using my stamps and my embellishments. This is a great way to use up some of your products. Day 11 was basically, so I decided on that day we had gone to see my son perform uh, with the UGA marching band. So I wanted to document that. So I decided I'm not going with a prompt for this. I'm just going to document this special moment because it happened in October and it's really important to me. So I went ahead and did that. I used some paper person shop products here like the traveler's notebook, some of the embellishments and the stamping. I think that stamp set is also the paper person shop and it's all about like documenting be a, being a fan of um, a certain team. And I'm a total fan of the red coats, so it worked out perfectly. Day 12, I am documenting my peaches. We get together twice a month and we craft, we chat, we have a blast. And there's always people coming in and out. So I really wanted to document that. And I just love the spread, the simplicity of it. I was able to use my larger stickers, which I always struggle with. And I just love the simplicity of it. And I got to document some of my favorite people. So that was a lot of fun. Okay, so for day 13, it was where I stand. I think that's what the prompt was. And I have loads of where I stand photos, but I thought this would be fun to document how every time I go for walks with Stitch, I take where I stand photos. So I had plenty of those. I created a strip of photos. I used this acetate piece from Studio Calico. Did some little clustering around my photo. These are from the October Moments Kit from Feature Craft. And then stamped where I stand. I wanted it to look like everything's coming out of the pot. And basically, you know, the letters and the bats and everything. And I really love how that turned out. I love the black and white with the pop of color. Perfect. So simple to put together. And I had loads of fun. Another spread that I shared with my members only. I was documenting my cup or your mug. What are you drinking right now? So that was the prompt. And I kept this one basically pretty simple. I used a 5 by 7 photo of one of my favorite mugs throughout October. That kitty cat sticker is from Feed Your Craft. It was the perfect spot to use it, matched well with my photo. And I added some journaling on my cards. I added some um, tags as well and added stickers to them. I just wanted to make sure that I use plenty of my products and my stash. So I created a little pocket and that was a four by four card from years ago from Kelly Perky. So it was a great spot to use it. So day 15 was more of something like, I just was having fun with this, okay? Basically, I didn't think much about it. I wanted to document Stitch always like 
watching me. And I thought this would be the perfect title. It always feels like somebody's watching me. If you know that song, then you're probably around my age. But anyway, I wanted to kind of keep it pretty simple. I had pops of color using my embellishments, but I really wanted it to kind of focus on the photo and the title. And I love how day 15 turned out. So that is the end of the first half of my uh, October daily and it's nice and chunky. I knew I wanted to half them because it was getting pretty bulky. I just have a few pages left. Yeah, a few pages less left in this notebook, but we're going to move on to our second notebook. So for the second half of my October daily, I kind of stuck to the same style, but kept it a little bit more simpler. I covered it with this beautiful pattern paper and then used those same stickers from Feed Your Craft to add October and did that little window and backed it up with a pumpkin. So this one was fun and simple. Day 16 was to document what you're reading. So I created this bookshelf with some of the books that I read throughout October and some of the books that I wanted to read in October. I used Studio Calico's book stamp. I think it's the Read stamp set. And I stamped those books, added photos of my books, and I also used Feed Your Crafts bookshelf stamp set. Stamped out October books, so it just says kind of books. But anyways, I had fun with this. This was one of my favorites. It was so cute and fun to do. And I will try to remember to add all the links for everything I'm sharing in the description box. And again, if you haven't watched my process videos, I always have everything linked down below. Day 17 was to document what you're listening to. This was a total scrap lift from my friend Elise. She has beautiful layouts and always inspires me. And she used this cassette stamp from Feed Your Craft to stamp out the cassettes. And then she created little foldouts. And I did the same thing. I just backed them up with little journaling about my favorite songs, my favorite bands, things like that. I also I, added some stamping, as you can see. And then I just stamped October playlist. Really cute. That washi tape is from Archer and Olive. Love it. And I basically documented what I am listening to throughout the month of October. So day 18 is something scary. And I am teaching my daughter how to drive, and that is always so scary for me. So there's a bunch of interactive elements here. I used a three by four card to create a fold out to add my journaling. And then I used some vellum to back up my title because I wanted to add a little something more. Like the card was great, but adding this vellum piece let me add those like stamped cars. It just added a little something to my title and kept my title simple. I just stamped out Worst Driver's Ed Instructor because that's what I'm told from my kids all the time that I am the worst and I freak them out and make them nervous. So I had to stamp that as my title. Day 19 was currently, so I created a collage and used a large photo because Stitch in this photo is so cute. And I wanted to kind of document what we were doing currently in the month of October. So I added little tidbits of journaling about my photos and stamped currently with this beautiful alpha stamp from the paper person shop. Day 20 was costume. So I documented my costume. I was a rebel handmaid. And I just added pens that say like, I love science, I love Fauci, uh, woman empowerment pens. I also wore rainbow socks, just stamped out costume. This stamping was a, an idea that I got from a piece of paper that I had from Studio Calico and it had costume stamped out. So I wanted to recreate it on my spread and that's how I came up with that idea. I stamped directly on my photo as well and kept it pretty simple. I love the spread. It's so colorful and very red, which is so weird for me. Day 21 was candy and I had fun with this one. I used an Ali Edwards stamp to stamp out the C. He kind of looks like Pac-Man. At first, I really didn't like the spread and I felt like the colors were off and the C was off but I grew to enjoy it and love it because it just fit really well with the candy situation where Pac-Man is eating candy. 
So for day 22, I was documenting my members again. So we all dressed up and did a little Halloween costume craft with me thing. So I used this laptop stamp to back up my photos with it. And I have to say this alphabet layout here was a favorite for my followers and subscribers. I got so many questions about it and a lot of people enjoyed it. I had fun putting it together. This was an inspiration from Pinterest. An illustrator had had like um, the alphabets, but every few alphabets, she changed them up with illustrations. And I thought that was so much fun. It would work really well in my October daily. So I went with it. I basically switched out the C for cat, the G for ghost, little things like that. And I had so much fun with it. It turned out so cute. And I will definitely be doing it again because it really came out better than what I expected, honestly. Day 23 is documenting morning, afternoon, and evening. Kept it simple. I took three photos and then I made them like in strips. So I shrunk them down basically because I wanted to add morning, afternoon, and evening. I also wanted space to add some of my embellishments. I'm coming to the end of my notebook and I wanna make sure that I use as much embellishments as possible. So I used the October Moments kit from Feed Your Craft, added a card and a few stickers here and there just to fill out those empty spots. And I love how this turned out. I think this is basically one of my favorite layouts throughout the notebook. I know it's the simplest, but it's one of my favorites. Day 24 is documenting fall. And this photo, I just felt like it really documented fall with the leaves and everything. So I kept this one simple, added some pattern paper, created a little pocket for my tags, added some journaling to my tags, and then used this embellishment. It was already cut apart because I was gonna use it for something else and I ended up not using it, so I used it on the spread, and it was a great spot for it. Sometimes, you know, you don't think of using a certain embellishment, but it fits so nicely on your spread that you just have to, but that basically is day 24. Day 25, it was throwback, so I created a collage of some photos of my kids in costume thro costumes throughout the years, and they turned out so cute. I just added the years to my photos and created this fold up using that same Frankenstein stamp set. I love that stamp set, so I wanted to use it multiple times throughout my notebooks and added my journaling, some embellishing. So cute, so much fun. I trimmed around my fold out so this would look like it's a part of my notebook and not just a page or another page. And then for day 26, it was my daughter's birthday. So obviously I wanted to document that. And I noticed later that I did not add journaling to the spread. So I might go back in and change this up and maybe do a pocket or something and have the photos on the pocket and then have the journaling in the pocket, if that makes sense. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but I did wanna add journaling, so I don't know where I messed up there. I totally forgot about it. No big deal. But I was documenting my daughter's birthday. Her friends surprised her and had a birthday at our house. I kind of colluded with them. So for day 27, I saw somewhere witching sense, like a title or a quote or something that started with witching sense. And I really, really wanted to use that in my October daily. And the selfie photo was perfect for that. So I just literally stamped witching scents. And then I used my embellishments and stamps to stamp witches and witches hats. I used my number stickers to add the dates. And I love how it turned out. It was so simple to put together. It turned out so different than anything I've ever done. And I had fun with it. And it just fit really well in my October daily notebook. Now, this was the last layout that I shared a process video for. So the last four or so, I just created them, did not share them yet. And I wanted to share them with you in this flip through. I just felt like in the end, I was wanting to finish my October daily so I can start my thankful 30. And I just didn't have time to edit any videos at that point. So for this spread, I had this paper from close to my heart 
It had a pink background. I think it said boo with the ghost. And I thought it doesn't go well with my spread, but I really love that paper and I love the ghost. So what I decided to do was color in the background and just color around the ghosts. I used my Posca pen for that. I also trimmed out a larger ghost from, or no, I didn't trim this out. I think this is a sticker. Yeah, that was a sticker from the sticker sheet from Close to My Heart and used that sticker, uh, popped it up a little bit. I just used some foam stickers on that and a few embellishments here and there to document sweater weather. So day 29, I'm documenting my daughter and dog being silly and crazy. And I had three photos of them in the same spot, but like different moments. So I decided to print them all and just create little clusters around them. Again, I mentioned this earlier, when I get to the end of my notebook, I always tend to use more product because I know I want to use them and I don't want to end up with too much product and hoarding all of that, if that makes sense. So I ended up using a lot of stickers and die cuts to create these clusters. I used a three by four card. I love this card, I love the green, and it matched really well with Frankenstein. So I basically built off of my three by four card and I used some pattern paper as well. So for day 30 and 31, I had a situation when I got to the end of my notebook. I ended up with no paper, no more pages. <laughs> and I questioned myself like, what? This is supposed to have that many pages, right? But then I figured it out. Um, when I was working on one of these pages here, I think it was this one, I had a little boo-boo and I had to cover it up. So I pulled out pages, but not many, a few, just so I have extra paper if I do have mistakes, right? And I want to cover them up. But I didn't know that I pulled out that many, honestly, which is okay. So I ended up having to combine day 30 and 31. Again, no big deal. For Halloween, I didn't do anything. I stayed home and handed out candy. But the kids, like my son was in Florida for a game for UGA, and my daughter spent it with her friends. So I didn't have loads of photos, but I still wanted to document that they weren't home and they were spending Halloween on their own. So I think those two photos represent that. I brought in some color with some stickers and things like that. I actually really like how these turned out because again, you don't have to go all out throughout your whole notebook to document, document your day or your moment you can definitely just use photos and a little bit of embellishing. But that's about it, you guys. That is my finished October daily for 2021. I had a blast putting these together. And again, I do have a playlist. So if you've missed any of these videos or process videos, make sure to check it out. But before I wrap this up, I did want to thank all my YouTube members. My peaches are awesome. I can't thank you enough for your support and kindness. I appreciate every single one of you. But that's about it, you guys. I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.